we're gonna do a quick walk around inspection exterior interior lights and show you a test drive on this beautiful street rotted 1955 Chevy 210 Tudor post car car comes to Indiana via California so the body is a very clean dry body excellent two-tone red and white classic paint job shines very well very few imperfections we'll go around and we'll show any that we see there's a small chip down here behind the bumper as you saw he's a close you got a close-up there's a small chip on the fender but the chrome and stainless on this car is excellent there's there's a little bit of wear on a couple pieces or aging I should say there is a minor crack Tyler up here just a small minor crack on the hump of the hood but and overall the reflection in the paint is excellent there's very very little to no orange peel there's a small chip down here dirt but and of course the exterior of this car is like um, enhanced with the five spoke torque thrust style American racing wheels wrapped in the like Cooper yeah Cooper tires it's got a beautiful stance the front wheels are 15 inch I believe the rears are 17 no, they're 15 inch as well so the the rake on the car is just due to the tires but it's got a nice little stance to it um, walking around the car some more what a beautiful classic style though these 55s you know the first year of the tri fives there's a small crack in the paint right here behind the bumper We all know how sought after these tri fives are and these street rotted and the resto modded tri fives are just becoming more and more popular and this car here is probably kind of a cross between uh, a street rod and a resto mod it's powered by a chevy 350 it's backed by a 700r automatic transmission so you have overdrive so the car cruises nicely. Uh, it does have a mild shift kit in it, so if you get into the gas a little bit, you can bark that second gear. The black factory style interior is in excellent condition, so in very minimal wear. There's a little bit of wear on the cording on the driver's side of the seat. Tyler could probably get a close up here in a second, but a little bit of aging there. But other than that, the, this interior, is in excellent condition the dash is nicely painted um, I really like this factory style looking uh, steering wheel but it is an aftermarket smaller than a factory steering wheel and it's been nicely upgraded it does have a, a tachometer the car does have air conditioning upgraded with air conditioning and upgraded stereo with the late model style stereo so you get you benefit from a nicer stereo I'll grab those keys we'll take a peek in the trunk let's see the trunk the trunk floor is all very solid you know what you would expect out of a California car but, and then the stereo benefits from as you can see uh, the CD changer in the trunk still have the, the factory jack instructions and it does have the jack spare trunk lid is extremely solid and clean
come around the front of the car. Take a peek under the hood. We find the, uh, the Chevy 350 uh, power steering, power brakes, like we talked about, air conditioning, added air conditioning, and of course it's got custom dual exhaust with short tube headers. And I've driven this car a little bit and it's got no issues with cooling. I'll go ahead and start it up and show you the lights working. Grab the other camera and go for a test drive. Absolutely no sag in those doors. Oh, that's good. can't wait so we don't need coats around here anymore so we're gonna go on that test drive of that of this beautiful 1955 210 post car so yeah and it, the starting of this car I mean it's what we call bump key I, I, I don't yeah. know that I, I've ever touched it once. Yeah. yeah and I just kind of bump the starter and the car fires right up and swear the car's uh, fuel injection. Uh, it starts better than fuel injection does. It does. I mean, it, it's just so tight. It just starts right up. But anyway, so we're test driving this gorgeous 55 Chevy today. Very comfortable car. Just from first impressions sitting in it, I mean, I've got plenty of space to spread out. Um, I'm not overly tall. Just, just under six feet tall. But Here and there, but 
I know this probably didn't mention it in the walk around video, but it is upgraded with Hotchkiss sway bars. So yeah, it handles very nice for a 55 Triumph. Yeah, and the, you know, the, the radial tire makes a huge difference as well. Uh, but the Hotchkiss anti sway bars, you can tell they're there. I mean, it, the car it handles nicely. Absolutely. And it's, you know, it's an easy car to park, you know, we're in a big parking lot right now, I mean, it's just, it's an easy car to drive. Yeah. We use that term effortless when referring to some of these cars, but this car truly is yeah. effortless. So it does have an added tachometer that works, it's a Super Tac 2 uh, by SunPro, which is a good brand. It does have a factory gauge cluster though still, the speedometer, odometer, temperature gauge, uh, fuel gauge, all the gauges work. Now the speedometer, which is not too uncommon for this vintage of car, does hop a little bit and it's clicking. I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not, but it's clicking a little bit, but it still is extremely accurate. Check it against my GPS speedometer. years 